This is 1751, flight one. Wind speeds around 15 meters per second. Hello, my name is Justina and I'm from Vingtro's customer team. In today's video, I'd like to give you a good overview of Vingtro and performance in wind and as well share some best practices of how to get the most out of your drone in windy conditions. In a previous Vingtro blog article, we discussed how different types of drones behave in wind. As for example, multi-rotors still are quite stable even in higher winds, but their already short flight time might get even more compromised. In the case of belly landing fixed wings, you might expect some data gaps, and as well landing might get unpredictable to all directions, thus endangering not only the equipment, the drone, but also the environment. Not all VTOL drones have been created equal to. Some are more susceptible to wind. But in case of Vingtro 1, after numerous flight tests, we can firmly vouch for a precise and safe vertical takeoff and landing each time, which for you means data consistency, minimal downtime, and basically more work done. To get a more detailed technical idea of what I've just said, I've talked to one of Vingtro's senior software engineers about why Vingtro 1 has emerged as one of the strongest drones in wind. Let's see what he has to say. Winter One's great flight performance is based on two things. All the work that we have put into the software through the years and its VTOL tail sitter design. To start with the design, Winter One has very powerful actuators, two flaps and two motors. These make it possible for us to control the drone's attitude, meaning the angle and the position in all wind conditions. This means that there are no wind speeds where the Winter One cannot safely operate in. On the software side, Winter One controls the same two things, its attitude and its position. We wrote the attitude controller as part of our original software stack back in 2015 based on wind tunnel measurements. Later, we improved it over time based on our own experience with the drone. On the other hand, the position controller was based on a quadcopter design, but heavily modified to work for a VTOL tail sitter. In 2019, we had the resources and the experience to fully customize and rewrite both the attitude and the position controllers. We now have model-based control algorithms that fully incorporate the VTOL tail sitter aerodynamics and all the experience that we have gathered over the years. Actually, we had a team of three people working on this project full-time for an entire year. Throughout this period, we tested the Winter Run extensively in different wind speeds, in different flight conditions, and at different places. Once we had rewritten the software, we did around 100 test flights in the Netherlands with wind speeds of up to 16 meters per second. We didn't have a single issue. Based on my experience, Winter One is currently the best drone in the market in terms of handling high wind speeds. We haven't found any wind speeds which are too high for the Winter One to safely return home. Now that we know that we're working with a reliable drone, let's go over some best practices and see how we can get the most out of your Winter One. 1. When flying in high wind, always place the drone parallel to the wind direction. 2. Make sure there are no obstacles close to the drone, like cars, trees or people. 3. We do not recommend flying in winds higher than 8 meters per second measured on ground. Yes, our testing team did it, but that was extreme and not for the purpose of data collection. 4. Do not land manually let the drone perform landing automatically. Believe me, the control algorithms are much better now than human reflexes. 5. If the drone tips during landing, don't worry. The worst that could happen is a scratched nose cover. Thank you for watching, and if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. We are happy to share all our knowledge with you.